brothers and sisters, I want you to make your own prayer. And be it your prayer also. My prayer. And I want you to join me. To join me in prayer. Some major changes that we have gone through. Lord, we believe 
but we will also face the same in the next year, Lord God. And we will also face amidst all these things, we will also face your decisions in our lives next year. And even today, Lord God, at this very moment. And Lord, we would like to make that major decision to continue to follow you, to continue to move on, and to continue the fight that you have started 2,000 years ago. A fight that is not claiming the victory. A fight that is won by the blood of the cross. The blood of the cross. Lord, I just like to ask you, send forth your spirit. Let it dwell in this people, Lord God, that we have gathered this weekend. Lord, we pray for the couple coordinators, especially for the different challenges and difficulties that they face. Amidst the, the bigger responsibility that's given to them, Lord, we pray for them, O Lord God, who have given much of their time and out an extra mile for your young people, O Lord God. Lord, we also pray for these young men and women who have dedicated hope, whom you have convicted, O Lord God, in the different youth camps that you have, you have given to them. Lord, we pray for these young men and we, these leaders and these members, O Lord God. Lord, we pray for one another. As your people, Lord God, thank you for gathering us. Thank you, Lord God, for touching our lives. Thank you, Lord God, for speaking powerfully to each and every one of us this weekend. And as you speak to each and every one of us, Lord God, may we be able to share this, Lord God, and be able to put this into our lives, Lord God. What you have said to all of us, what you have spoke to each and every one of us. Lord, thank you for speaking to us personally. Thank you, Lord, for convicting us last night that we lack faith, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for convicting us that when we pray, we pray in empty prayers. Lord, as we continue to pray right now, Lord, allow us and teach us to pray, Lord God. And we will pray, Lord God. We don't expect that pray, Lord God, that we will continue and we will move on in this fight. Father in heaven, thank you for calling each other one of us. Lord, bless our relationship as brothers and sisters, as couple coordinators. Bless our relationship, Lord God. Father in heaven, thank you for this moment. Thank you for this moment of easing the pain, the tiredness, the sleepiness, and all the discomforts that we have. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to feel this way. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to go through this challenge. Thank you, Lord God, for making us a part of this history in the lives of your people. Father in heaven, thank you for this moment, Lord God, that you have given us this very special moment. Lord, we also pray for our families whom we have left behind. Lord, we pray for them, Lord God, that they will protect them. And all the brothers and sisters in this community. Lord, you also pray for, for the brothers and sisters who have had an accident, Lord God, yesterday. Wherever they are right now, Lord God, I'd just like to ask you to just touch them. And let your healing power, Lord God, just overflow to these brothers and sisters. Lord, speak to them powerfully as you have spoke to us powerfully this weekend. Lord, we thank you for this things that reminds us that there's no greater than you. You who is so good, so wonderful, so perfect, so holy, so great, so mighty, that in your mind, Lord God, you have brought us here amidst discomforts and difficulties, amidst tiredness, and you have continued amidst the limitations of what we have, of the facilities, of that they believe. Lord, thank you for this moment. And just like to ask you, Lord God, as we continue, continue to convict us. Continue to teach us, Lord God. Continue to speak to each and every one of us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be.